DK find out animals. Adaptation. Why do animals live in different habitats? The natural setting where an animal usually lives is called its habitat. Animals live almost everywhere on Earth, so there are many different types of habitats. These range from burning hot, dry deserts to rain soaked tropical forests to frozen polar regions. Most animals are only found in one kind of habitat. This is because each animal has special features and skills called adaptations that let it survive in certain conditions. These adaptations mean the animal is well suited to its habitat. Let's take a look at some habitats and the adaptations of animals living there. Deserts. Sandy deserts are hot, dry places without much water. Some animals, like camels, have become well matched to this habitat. They can survive without water for days, have a store of fat in their hump for energy, and have long eyelashes to keep out the sand. Other animals, such as the penguin, are not well adapted to life in the desert. Penguins have very thick feathers, which cover a layer of fat for warmth. The feathers are dark colored, so they absorb or take in heat. Because the desert is very hot, both these features would make penguins overheat here. Penguins also have a beak. Which is perfect for catching fish, but there are no fish in the desert. The penguin's small wings are used for swimming, but there is nowhere to take a dip here. Which habitat are penguins best suited to? The polar regions. The Arctic and the Antarctic are the coldest places on Earth. Penguins are well adapted to live in the icy Antarctic. They can swim in the cold water and catch fish with their beaks. The dark feathers and layer of fat keep them warm in the freezing conditions. The green tree frog would not survive in the polar regions. Like all frogs, it needs fresh water to live. Here, there is only the cold, salty ocean. If the frog fell into the ocean, the high amount of salt would be toxic to it, and it would die. Unlike feathers or hair, the tree frog's smooth skin loses heat quickly. If it found itself in the snow, the green tree frog would freeze. Its green skin. Is good for keeping the frog hidden in the trees, but against the snow, the bright color would make it stand out. The green tree frog likes to eat insects, but these would be very hard to find in icy places. The rainforest. Instead, the green tree frog. Is at home in the warm rainforest, where the heavy rain keeps its skin moist. The frog can blend in among the many trees and stay hidden from predators. It also has sticky pads on its fingers and toes, which help it cling to the slippery leaves, branches, and tree trunks as it climbs, hunting for insects to eat. The black tip reef shark isn't adapted to living in the rainforest. Like all fish, the black tip reef shark has gills that allow it to breathe underwater. Taken out of the water, the shark would be unable to breathe and would die. 
The shark has a long, streamlined body and powerful fins to help it glide through the water. These would be of no use on land. The ocean. Like all sharks, the black tip reef shark is best adapted to living in the salty ocean. Underwater, the shark can breathe easily with its gills. Its long tail and sleek fins allow the shark to swim quickly through the water and make sharp turns to attack prey or escape from danger. There are many different habitats around the world and a huge variety of animals adapted to living in each one.